Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my tier list series. Today I'm going to be tackling Earth. Um, I've been playing the shit out of my alt, so I haven't even been on my main in a day now. So, I'm going to do this little intro background on myself at the beginning of every video. Just in case someone happens to be new and clicks on this one instead of another one. So, as you can see here, I'm in Veritas. Considered top 5 guild. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been playing this game since January. I uh, have... A, I think I have every Earth unit in the game, actually. So I have experienced with every Earth unit in the game. We can actually double check that real quick. No, wait, I don't have Bazaar. But we all know how Bazaar is, so... He's literally the only Earth unit I'm missing. I have every other Earth unit in the game. You can double check this real quick. My alt has Bizarre though, so I will be using him. But I can base all of the stuff off of, you know, I, I know how units work. I've been playing for a while. I've been playing in the upper tier of PvP for a long time. I know how stuff works. Um... I will say before we get started over there, Ainz isn't a selectable hero for me to put in there, so I will pin what I think about him in the comments. In ter in in regards to the whole tier list, you know, format. I think I talked about him a little bit when I first looked at him, but I'll pin that in the comments so you guys can check that out there. But that being said, I'm gonna do three separate tier lists here. One for PvE. It's mainly Banshee. I will do honorable mentions of units that I think are good in other places because it's kind of hard to like. I'm not going to put Kyrus in S tier if she's only good in Abyss. You know what I mean? So I, I like any honorable mentions for PvE content. I will let you guys know what's good for that and why. And I'll try to cover it pretty quick. And then I'm going to go into GVG and Arena offense and then GVG and Arena defense. The offense and defense portions will be in a single tier list if. I think any specific set of units are better in one than the other, then I'll specify that there. Um, realistically, if I had the time and you guys didn't mind sitting through an hour, I would literally do a tier list for every single piece of content in the game, but that's just... I don't know. That's a lot of time. Maybe I'll do something like that a bit later in the game once I have a proper setup to do good editing and some cool videos like that, but... For now, this is how I'm doing it. So, with that being said, okay, here we are at PVE, or mainly Banshee. Um, a lot of these units are good in Azamanic, too, and you can use a lot of them in Golem as well. Starting off in S tier up here, we have the main man, Charles, who is the god of the game right now, out of pretty much the elemental heroes. He's probably the best one in the game, in my opinion. I think a lot of people would agree with that, though. But there's two different ways you could do Banshee. Like you can set up a one shot comp or you can sit there and kill through the waves, which requires the spells and, and whatever. So considering both of those, I think the one shot comps are better than doing it regular. That doesn't mean doing it regular is bad, but obviously top tier would be stuff that can one shot Banshee, right? So Charles is the best first one like wave clear that you can use unless you have arbiter vildred because of animation time because he he grants you attack buff and does whatever but for all pve like he's great for azamanic I, I don't know about using him in golem but he's great in azamanic and he's great in banshee for one shot comps and a standard comp that just goes through it ludwig is also great for one shotting banshee you can clear the first wave with his S3 and then turn around and one-shot Banshee with his S2. Euphine, you can one-shot Banshee with her S3. Biking can one-two punch Banshee. Granted, you need defense breaks for all of these to work. The best speed clear on Banshee is actually pretty much all ML units. So I will cover that in those videos. But then you have your Arbiter Vildred, or not your Arbiter Vildred, your, your Green Vildred, your Bologna, and then you have your Vivian. Vivian is just another attack buffer for a one-shot comp. Some people use her for that. 
Then you have, um, she's good as well for a regular comp because she gives immunity for the poisons. She's just good at clearing the Banshees out if you're doing a standard clear that's not one shot and she's great for that too. And then going down the A, you have Iceria. I use Iceria for Banshee in a little, like for a little bit. But A is just like other options if you can't really run the up options because there's a lot of off element units used in Banshee usually. But Iceria is also pretty good for Azamanic 11 as well because she brings a cleanse and a defense break and she, she resets even though her reset is retarded on auto. It's just what it is. And then Violet's okay for Banshee as well. And then Sid is actually like... For general purpose PvE use, like he's one of the highest single target DPS units in the game. So he is good in a lot of different places. He's good in Abyss, he can be good in Raid, he can be good pretty much everywhere. So Sid is insane. But we're talking about PvE here, we'll talk about PvP here in a minute. Leo, I've also seen him used in one-shot comps. For first wave and i believe he brings a defense break i haven't looked at leo in a very long time but i do know people are using him in one shot comp so that's why he's up here in a and then cigarette or not cigarette wow cigarette um silk here is another option for dps if you're running just a standard banshee team and then destine is here she has that s1 equip that cleanses debuffs and stuff so she like for standard clearing she's just great for that and then same thing with ren you can bring celestine ren she brings a defense break Bring some buffs. It's cool. Then lots. It's just another healer. And then you have Jet here, who's one of the best dispellers in the game. So if you're just running like standard Banshee, these units are all good for all of those. Um, Ren's also very good for Azamanic 11. And then you have Helga here, who's another attack buff option if you're speed clearing it. She's actually the best one to get the fastest time because she has no animation. So I could tell you guys right now, the fastest Banshee 11 team is actually Helga, Arbiter Vildred, Watcher Shuri, and then a fourth. Or another one. You can actually, um, Charles, maybe. No. You could probably do it with just those three and run a fodder and run Banshee in like 35 seconds. Because you attack buff, Arbiter Vildred, he clears the first wave, and then you go and as long as you have Iron Fan on your Watcher Shuri, it one-shots Banshee. So that's why Hell goes up here in A if you're curious about it. And then you go down to B here. These are just units that I probably wouldn't use for Banshee. Yeah, Clurry's here and she's good. She can solo Banshee 10. But yeah, that's like entry-level stuff. I mean, if you, if you leveled these DPS and you want to use them in, for entry-level Banshee, then it's fine. But in terms of long-term progression and doing Banshee forever, they're not going to give you the best results. And then C and D don't don't bother. Armin's great, and you can she can be used in there to mitigate some damage. But I I just wouldn't recommend using any of these units for Banshee personally. And Ruzid is down here because he's not specially changed. Okay, specially change your Ruzid. Specially change your Clary. Those units are always going to be in D because you should never use them. And you should just do their specialty change. That's why, that's my process of thinking. So, that pretty much does it for PvE. Um, like I said, honorable mentions for, like, like Abyss content. It's whatever you need to bring to whatever specific stage. Curious is used for a lot of Abyss. Clurry is great for Abyss. And, um, whatever else. Like, any healer you need for Abyss, if you need to double up healers, they're all great. Sid is great for Abyss because of his single target damage. Um, yeah, that's really it. I mean, Iceria is great for Abyss. For farmers, you have, you have Vivian, you have Bologna, you have Vildred, you have Charles as a good farmer. Now, you could probably farm with uh, Green Purgus if you really wanted to. You could farm with Violet. You can farm with Sid. A lot of Silk. Like, there's a lot of good farmers in here. Biken, Ludwig. Hell, you can even farm with Euphine if you wanted to, so... Lots of really good farmers in green. So, let's go ahead and move on here. So, this is your offense tier list. I know what you're thinking. It's like, everything's an S. What the fuck? Like, everything's an S because green is really good. And some of the most common units in the game are on defense, being Dizzy and SSB. 
So that's why Green is just so good right now on offense. It's because of Dizzy and SSB. Their abundance in the game. So I wouldn't put Charles like number one in offense. I just didn't move him. Um, he is very good in a lot of situations. He's very good in auto cleaves. He's a very safe green DPS to bring in Guild War because he's bulky. Brings his own defense buff and everything. Like he's he's just great in every area of the game if you can bring him in. Ludwig is still a very relevant cleave, even though people don't like him. He's still good. If you have the setup, he's one of the best cleaves in the game. Euphine's damage output is insane. Um, I have videos of me using Euphine. Go check them out. You can see what she does there. Biken's not as relevant now as she used to be, but in an offensive situation where you choose to bring Biken, like she can be very powerful in a lot of situations still. Vildred is still a very relevant cleave. Um, Bologna, I would have put her in A before she got her special equipment, but she's a 100% defense breaker now. And there's the only relevant fire unit on defense is Lilius, pretty much. You might see the occasional K-Ron or the occasional Firekin, but that's it. Like, she's a great option for a 100% defense break in a Bizarre Cleave. So, then Vivian's here. She brings immunity and an attack buff on offense. She's great for auto comps. Um, in a situation where, like, you just need those things, like, she's great for it. And then Isaria is here, of course, because D. Corvus and Tam... So, of course, she's going to be here. Um, and Guild War, like, you can use Violet to a lot of success in offense. Like, if there's a Dizzy defense on the other... Like, if there's no red threat, and Violet's a very safe pick to pick into a lot of things. Especially when there's, like, leaked AoE. Like, if there's a Vivian Dizzy or something on defense, or a Bazaar on defense, like, he's going to destroy them. And then Sid is here. If, like, Sid goes untouched on offense, he will decimate an entire team. He's actually insane. Dust Devil Sid does so much damage. And then, of course, you have Bazaar here, who's just busted. Like, you soul burn him, and then everything dies afterwards. And then Extinction Unit and Lily Bat. She's great. Armin is up here, which, if you've been watching my channel, you're probably not surprised by that, because she's actually insane. It's 100% stun on S1. Makes her very relevant in Guild Wars offense. Um... Yeah, that's that's really why she's up here. She's actually really good. And then Clurry is still really good on offense. She's a really safe pick. She brings mitigation to your team. She strips into a defense break. That's really good. And then there's just other options. I mean, realistically, I could put a lot of this stuff in S2 because green is just so good. I don't know why I have Jet up here, to be honest. Now that I'm looking at this. I just didn't bother moving him, because I just really cared about S, because that was it. So, Jet, realistically, I would move down, because he's really not that great on offense. So, yeah. Don't pay attention, too much attention to that. Silk is just another green DPS that I think is really underwhelming compared to all the ones that are above her. And then Destina, she's great on offense. Um... If you need a cleanser, she's fantastic for that. Ren, realistically, I would probably bring down to, but I just didn't really touch it too much because, like, A is just, like, if you need to bring a healer and you have no other option, you can bring these and probably be okay. And then I have Helga here still because she has a speed imprint and an attack buff, so people do use her on offense still. And then Ruse, it's just a CR pusher. Um... And then going down below that, like, Leo does bring AoE stun. But, like, there's there's just better options to do that. Realistically, I, I, I would probably swap Leo and Jet in this tier list. But this is a screenshot, so I can't go and edit it on the fly. So just keep that in mind. And then Pergus, like, I think he's okay. Like, if you needed to bring a bulky DPS and you didn't have a Charles, like you might be able to use Purgus in that situation as well. And then Cartuja, I've, I've tested him and he's shit. So don't bother building that fuck. He's actually terrible. <laughs> he needs another buff. But yeah, this is offense. Um, Curious isn't in D because she extends the duration of debuffs. And 
Mukacha or whatever the hell his name is. Like, he actually does decent damage if you want to invest into him, if you're a furry. But, and that's your thing, then he's not bad. But other than that, just wait till the units in the bottom get a specialty change if they're not there already. And this is your offense, pretty much. Um, yeah. So here we are in defense. So you just, you saw that dramatic shift, right? <laughs> so the only relevant green units, I think, that are on defense right now are really, and like, you guys got to keep in mind, like, defense for me, like S tier, that means best, best of the best. Like, can you use units in A? Yes, you can. It doesn't mean make them bad, but best of the best is an S when it comes on defense. Like the other ones here, I'm a little bit more lenient on because it really comes down to what you want to use and what, what gear you have and how much mola you have in those units. Cause then like, like in offense here, like there's no difference in bringing you Fiend and Sid into a team where that unit's not going to get hit. Like you bring, bring whatever the fuck you want, just kill everybody. You know what I mean? Defense is a whole different ball game. Like, the kit has to be good. You have to have the investment. You have to have the gear. And you're not controlling them in that situation. Like, somebody's attacking into you, so you obviously want the best of the best there. Um, there are some units that could possibly be an S, but they're just not as impactful as Charles and Basar are. Like, Charles is insane. The RNG aspect he brings with Elvis. He's very bulky. He can be built on counter, built on speed. He grants the entire team an attack buff. There's just so much stuff in his kit that is so good. And then Basar is literally dominating Arena by himself right now. So that's why both of these units are up here. They're the two dominant green units in Arena and, and Guild War. Uh, that, that green offers in defense. And then... Like, Destina is mainly here for arena defense if you throw her on. Like, you know, just like the previous ice tier list, I had healers just all, like, in A. But Destina is the only relevant healer I think you could put on your defense that's green at this point in time. And then, Yuffine is really strong in Guild War defense. Like, looking at all the other greens here, aside from Charles, you have Yuffine, Violet, um, Biken, Vivian, all those. I think they're all okay, in, like on Guild War defense, and some of them can be used on arena defenses too, but they do, they're just not on the same level as Charles. They're just not. And then Vildred is here because he can still be on a defensive team in arena that he provides that huge-ass speed imprint, you know? And then same thing with Bologna. Like, all these are just like secondary options. I think Clurry is very good on defense still. Pergus, I think, is okay on defense. Armin, I think, is okay on defense. Um, she doesn't perform as well as other knights do. And then you have Ruza down here, who's another CR pusher, who's okay on defense. Um, Bologna here, because she does have that strip special equipment now, and she does have 100% defense break. And you can actually build a bruiser Bologna that's not bad. I've seen it. So if you're really into green Bologna, she can be used probably better than what you're using her now, or... You're not using her because nobody else is. She can still be pretty good, built like a bruiser. And then going down to B here, you just have, it's like like I said, an ice. Units that like you probably just shouldn't put on defense, period. Um, things shifted here a little bit. Ludwig, uh, he's just, I don't know, he, he just doesn't do enough on defense. He's very laughable. He's very squishy. Lilibet is an extinction unit. Like, she's an offensive unit. And then, like, yeah, Leo brings some stuns. Um, Silk brings a speed down. Ren brings a bunch of buffs, too. But they, they really don't do anything. Like I said, like, before defense, you really want threats. You want high kill potential. Like, if you notice, like, being below, there's, there's really no threat. I mean, Ludwig brings an AoE threat, but you just kill him. He's not going to, like, if he's fast, he's not going to do damage. And if he's slow, you're going to kill him before he can do anything. So, that's really where I am with offense and, or, sorry, this is with, with defense here. It's really Charles, Bizarre, or Bust. And, like I said, defense is just a different ball game. Like, I'm very 
meticulous with defense. Like when it comes to being S tier, because the rest of the, like I said before, the rest of this shit doesn't matter. It really comes down to gear and what you want to use. Granted, like if we were to go back over here, it, it's it, everything up here is situational. Like if they have a a unit that you know has immunity, you're gonna bring Euphine, not Biken. If they if they don't have that, Biken's better. You know what I mean? So it, it's all situational. If you're able to bring Ice Area Tam into a defense, then you bring that. If there's a lot of AOE, then you can bring Violet. If there's single target threats and nothing can target your Sid, you know, you can bring Sid. It's it's all situational. It all depends on gear. And build what you want. Defense is the only thing that really matters. What unit you use. Offense, who cares? Use what you want. It's It, it all depends on gear. It all depends on investment. So it all depends on what you're attacking into. But every unit is good to a certain degree. Obviously, kit and base stats and stuff apply to a little bit. But if you notice, like every green five star DPS is S tier for me in offense because it doesn't fucking matter what you use. As long as you bring it into something that you know it's good against. That's it. That's how I'm going to do these tier lists. You know, I encourage you guys to build what you want. But when it comes to defense, defense is just different. There's the units that are going to shine on defense. There's a very solid defense meta, but offense, who gives a shit? Like, do what you want to do on offense, but defense is, that's where the real tier list is. So I'm not going to rant too long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop me a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for fire, which should be up relatively quick. I want to get this series knocked out so it's out. So if you're new here, subscribe. If you want to know right when the next video gets uploaded, hit the bell and you'll see it pop up whenever I decide to get it done. Hopefully here in the next day or two. So you guys have a good one. Peace out.